Episode 3 kicks right off with Glorio, the East Kyle Shin, and Son Goku leaving Earth very quickly, and Glorio explaining about how they're going to be going into the, the part of the demon world, and how you got to go through like a lot of several different hoops just to get there. Uh, and then you get the little fish looking thing, and we learned that this is the, the warp station. So this big giant fish, basically, which Son Goku is completely rude, calling him a, a goldfish, and this thing is angry, and the East Kyle Shin has to tell Goku to calm down because we might not be able to get through, uh, especially when this this thing is what allows you to go into the path that gets you to the demon realm. <laughs> um, and eventually, you see, he's Kyle Shin. He basically is just covered up Son Goku's mouth. And um, the East Kyle Shin basically uh, has pointy ears, and that's what the um, that's what this warp this fish thing that warps them is looking for. He sees, okay, East Kyle Shin, you got the pointy ears. Uh, Glorio, you've got the pointy ear so you're good and what East Kyle Shin we didn't know he could do this he can actually make a, a someone else someone who doesn't have pointy ears he can turn their round ears into pointy ears and he's like all right good enough because I, I guess he he must have not saw what East Kyle Shin just did you think with an eye that big you, you'd probably be able to see it but okay <laughs> and then of course they disperse um into the realm that takes them to the demon realm and right at that moment uh East Kyle Shin makes a big deal realizing that holy crap because they had to say a, a four digit number passcode in order to get there and Kibito is basically uh and he's like you know I didn't tell Kibito and Son Goku's like it must not be that big of a deal they'll, they'll, they'll find a way here which apparently if you look at the opening and ending theme songs they apparently do uh and so they're spinning around and man this looks like it's painful like not fun just painful and you see how uh dizzy Son Goku is right there um and then from there so they end up going through, um, they end up going, uh, basically going in through, uh, this whole place. Like I said, it looks like the river of time. I think it's what it was called, at least in the Funimation dub, uh, when Trunks was traveling to the, um, to the present timeline from the future. And they end up going into that part where they get directed. And here we actually learn the demon world is broken up into three parts, uh, or into three different worlds. And, um, there, I think there's the, the first world, the second world, which are kind of prohibited uh forbidden i think uh for only certain people to enter um and you know this is where he the the fish basically lets them into the third world uh which is where they're going in terms of the demon realm and they end up spinning right back uh to where they are uh once again these backgrounds look phenomenal amazing and then we get that awesome dragon uh that was in the previous one we're getting volcanoes, and Son Goku is like amazed. Like I, I, that, that's me. I'm amazed too. Just seeing these bad, the artwork and the attention to detail that went into these backgrounds, and then we get this place right here, which we learned from the East Kyle Shin is a place that locks off the demon world so you can't go in there only special people with, with certain privileges are able to get there so that was cool to uh hear basically this being explained um the east kyle Shin even wonders what glorio does i think for like a living and everything and um glorio's like mm, I, I do things here and there and east kyle Shin is getting very very suspicious of glorio at this point um we get this cool statue of dabura aka dabura who was of course the former demon Demon King before Fat Boo turned him into a cookie and ate him. Um, it's so cool seeing Dabura do this type of pose. He didn't do that at all in the Majin Buu arc. Like, this is the type of stuff he did in the filler where they turned him into a ghost because he, he would be punished because he would enjoy going to hell too much. So, uh, Imadai, uh, was it, uh, Imadai, uh, aka King Yama, to, um, basically punish him by sending him to heaven, um, because that would be torture for him. Uh, so that was really cool to see, um, and everything. Uh, once again, awesome backgrounds and you just see Son Goku getting super excited and he wants to feel what the air is like here in the demon realm and it's very heavy and it's hard for him to move as he's trying to train and, and see how he fights in this atmosphere um and then we get here what i call are our first jabronis the jabronis you know you always gotta establish a pecking order where some weak characters are gonna try and step to son goku and get owned right that's how we do these things in dragon ball <laughs> um and you're trying to look intimidating so these jabronis basically start shooting uh these um these uh these arrows and i really love the animation here uh it was very slowed down and glorio my man glorio 
humps and uh, uh j- jumps in that humps into action oh gosh <laughs> uh we're live here jumps into action and man he is fast the animation was going really quick so he's used to this atmosphere and man he's just going really quick doing back uh back flips they zoom into his gun takes it out and he just starts a uh, boom 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 and man make short work of these jabronis they go off running and i you know he puts his gun up calmly and says they were just a bunch of bandits and so Goku starts mentioning how it's dangerous here and uh, they hop back in the spaceship Goku makes a very crude remark saying that the atmosphere is so heavy here and it smells uh, so heavy here or whatever that he bet he could go ahead and fart and no one would be able to tell and uh, East Kyle Shin is just like Goku nah we ain't doing this brah we, we ain't doing this <laughs> oh man and just once again these backgrounds look amazing let me get a sip of water here So they go into this city um, or this town and everything. It looks like something you probably see out of Star Wars. And of course, uh, Toriyama Akira was a huge fan of Star Wars. And um, I just really like it. And they, they land their spaceship here. <clears throat> And Son Goku's amazed. And I, like I said, these backgrounds look gorgeous. The animation's fantastic. But clearly, we see they are not welcome here. These demons are giving them all kinds of stank eye. And you just see it as their Goku's walking around. They're like, we do not accept your kind here. So they are dis- discriminating quickly um and they go into this hotel and this is one of the funniest parts of the episode so glorio's basically coming up to this guy and he's like you know we need a few uh room you know about a couple of rooms and this guy's like <laughs> you ain't getting it i'm charging you the most expensive amount that i can right and glorio's like we need to go you know he's like you know this is basically too much like they like like that's way too much to be charging us and he's like oh yeah oh, what you gonna do about it and then glorio takes him uh you know takes this guy basically by his uh whatever his scarf is and uh and glorio's like i'm not playing around with you and he's gonna look here what you gonna do about it and then glorio he just calmly opens his jacket shows his gun and that guy's like oh he changes his tune real quick he's like you know what i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry did i did i did i say it was that expensive it's a lot cheaper here you go (laughs) and he is quick to give his keys to him and gloria takes it and that guy's like you know he realized he just got punk out punked out and gloria's like okay we'll go ahead and take those um those rooms upstairs and everything and uh son goku man he is uh you know like i'm hungry still even though i just ate uh you know he's got a big appetite now even though he's smaller and uh glorio asses and the guy you know he, he ain't being disrespectful anymore he ends up going about like oh hey yeah you know uh yeah there's some hamburgers or something along the side <laughs> and so they go to this little hamburger joint bar and once again when they get in there you can look and tell that they are not welcome son goku by the way wants to order five hamburgers and stuff and these guys are just angry they like we are not feeling these people like we we do not like this guy like who, who the heck brought this guy here uh even this guy in the green one he looks like some sort of reject of uh piccolo uh he looks like, like some reject of piccolo daimas um uh you know children that he used to spit out of eggs and everything um and so son goku you know he's enjoying the demon realm uh burgers he wonders what they're made out of and and glory's like you wouldn't want to know and uh this guy gets offended so i'm assuming they must make them out of demons right it's the demon world um so anyway this is where we get to the action so this guy starts going up and basically wants to start some stuff and we as longtime Dragon Ball fans got to know that this ain't going to end well for this guy. And this wolf boy, he starts stepping up to them. So he's trying to start some stuff. Now, these guys, they can't just mind their own business. They got to get all in their faces. And Goku, he ain't caring. He just wanted that burger. He eating that burger good. And the guy slams his fist on the table, knocks, dang near knocks Goku's burger out. And you see it go flying. And uh, Gloria's like, nah, we ain't taking this crap. We just 
here to eat and go about our business. So he takes a look like some orange juice or whatever and slaps it into this dude's face. And the guy, he starts going for the punch. And my man Glorio, look at that, with his two fingers, takes this guy by the thumb, snaps it, and breaks like breaks this dude's arm in the back. And from there, boom, punches dude in the back. Like he's like, your will is mine now. And then he hit, finishes the dude off with the shuriken out of the frame. I'm like, let's go. And then old wolf boy here, he like, okay, I'm gonna try some stuff. Like as if that wasn't enough to convince you that you are way out of your league. And boom, look at my man Glorio. Snap, do with one punch or with one hand, blocks my man's punch takes it, twists the dude's arm, throws it to the side, and spins right around, and boom, hits him right in the chin with the elbow uh, to the face. Sends dude flying into the uh, bottom of, of where the uh, bar is. He's like, oh, and boy is knocked out. Boy going to sleep. And you have the bartenders like, what's going on over here? He's like, oh, and then uh, I see Gorio. He's like, hey, can we get us a couple of more of those hamburgers and some drinks? And the guy's like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is scared. He just walks right out of range. Look at that boy walking like, hut, two, three, four, hut, two, three, four. Like he got his mind right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And so Goku right here still eating this hamburger and then this boy this boy gonna try to come in and try a sneak attack so son goku's got his back turned and my man goku already on the ball already on the ball takes the plate out blocks his dude stuff with the hamburger in the mouth in the mouth <laughs> And this dude tries to do a knee, and Goku blocks it with the other plate, with the burger still in the mouth. So at this point, so Goku's like, okay, you want to step up? Let's go, let's go. And this dude, what's he going to do? He lunges forward. Out of all the attacks he could choose, he's just going to lunge forward, leave himself wide open. And Goku, boom, basically handcuffs this man with the plates, sandwiches his hands in between the plates, and then brushes the dude off. And you can see, man, you yellow whatever this thing is is scared already the fact that goku is doing this with a hamburger in his mouth and two plates like you're done you just, just stop and boom goku ends up going ahead sandwiches the plate in between this man's uh face and then goes ahead and spins this guy around look at that man that man knew at this moment he effed around this is the moment you realize that you effed around and found out and you really regret that you had to find out because goku spins this man that boy has the the look of fear into his eye he sees his fate and goku spins that boy around out of the frame into the table devon get the tables right or no i guess he doesn't right too got to throw my wrestling reference in there man and look at east kyle shin east kyle shin who freaked out a lot during the majibu art he know these guys ain't no threat just there calmly just drinking his water you know taking a sip because he know these these jabronis ain't got nothing and then my man right here oh he gonna he's like okay i got something for you he gonna try to come at goku and i love how goku just goes calmly back to eating his burgers and then this guy he didn't you think he would get the lesson he gets back up thinking he gonna try again go try to punch goku on the side boom goku dodges his stuff then he goes in for a kick goku dodges again and look at my man goku still with the burger he's like i just want to eat my burger <laughs> comes in with a spinning kick boom knocks the guy down to the ground and then catches his balance with the burger in hand throws it in eats it and swallows it and starts stretching like like <laughs> I love when they underestimate Son Goku. Like, man, this was fantastic. Like, you like you don't mess with Go like like the these jabronis gonna you gotta come up with something if you wanna mess with Goku and and they already trying to gang up. So then this dude right here, big old yellow, I don't know, whatever disease looking thing this thing is, he comes out of the side. He gonna try to step to Goku like he gonna do something. Okay. So what's he do? He does the weakest thing you could do. I'm just gonna lunge. <laughs> Boom. Goku dodges. Guy lands on this four and if you're a wrestling fan you really love this one goku jumps in and how does he decide to attack i'm like yo he hit him with the macho man randy savage elbow macho man really savage oh yeah 
hit him with the elbow. Oh, man. Somebody must be a wrestling fan on the Dragon Ball Dima animation team. So I was loving this. And then Goku doing the back flips look at that goku doing the back flips and goku says hey this is really good training for me to go ahead and get um into shape with this you know this smaller body in this atmosphere so goku's just taking this is all fun and then this ugly guy just like okay what's he gonna bring to the table he brings a big giant axe and he swings that thing goku dodges and goku's like hey what, what are we doing here he's thinking oh y'all real serious now huh and this guy he's gonna try to do something and obviously here we see Thor, he is not. Thor, this guy, is definitely not. And Goku's like, what? Like, come on, bro. Look, look this man is struggling for his life. <laughs> All right. If you're going to bring something to a fight, a giant weapon, you best know how to use it. What the heck is this guy? And Goku's like, I ain't got time for this. Look at this guy. Looks at the fear in his face. Boom! Goku knocks this guy out in the side of the face. Boom! Knocks him down. He's gone. KO. And you got the two jabronis in the back who still ain't learned their lesson. And this part right here was cool. They kept it as one steady shot. Goku, this guy, like, like, like these guys are some jabronis. Come on. Out of a punch, a kick, a, a takedown, you go for a lunge, you leave yourself open. I'm like crazy, man. And so he lunges. Goku jumps over this guy. Guy lands on all four. Goku jumps on the side. And look at my man Goku. In mid fight, he goes back on the table, grabs himself a bite of the burger, does a backflip, spinning kick into this guy to get himself a bite. Guy's gonna try to, what? Well, he's Seth Rollins now? He's gonna try to do the curb stomp? Boom. But well, they ain't get him nowhere. Goku does another backflip and i love this guy right here this guy tries to whack him with another giant i guess he finally found some sort of big uh weapon that he could use to destroy it to, to, to whack him with and then goku comes in and then boom watching my man goku with a cool break dance boom gets ahead and um gives this guy uh trips this guy up jumps up under his other leg turns around to go for a tornado spinning kick and bam sends this guy out of the frame and then all while still eating his burger turns around takes another bite finishes the burger <laughs> my man son goku finished the burger how do you <laughs> Are, are these villains just not some of the most sorriest people we've ever seen in Dragon Ball? How do you get your butt kicked by a by a kid who in in hat and who's at ninety degrees, not even a full turn, finds time to finish a hamburger while he's in mid mid attack, swallow it, and then boom, dodges and then punch like. Like, go. that's how that's sorry this guy is. Goku left himself wide open. These guys couldn't do nothing. Punches a guy right in the face. But Goku just starts going ham. Boom. With a, what a, was that? A left? Another right? Boom. Just messed that guy up. Three hits. And the guy, you, you can see his hands like, I, I give. If that's tapping out, that's tapping out in the air. He he is done. And then this guy tries one some of Goku. And Goku's like, okay, let's go. Boom. Puts that foot back. Boom. Kick into the chin. And that guy is done. Goku just all over these guys comes back for this one and then the guy's like ah that's all he could do is ah boom right in the face and that guy sent flying goku goes to the ground all of them laid out all of them because they didn't know how to didn't know how to stand back and uh and be themselves and just, just mind their own business as this as um the legendary mike goldberg would say in ufc it is all over just like that all of them humbled. And you get this one guy here. He's like, huh? Oh! <laughs> I loved it. Like he's like he, he he would be best. He is not gonna try and 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 f with these guys. And Goku is you know just happy as ever. And he's like after all that, I still want some more burgers. So he tells the other guy like, hey, fix us up a couple of more burgers. And the guy's like, yes sir, yes. <laughs> Whatever issues this man had, the bartenders like, I want, I don't want none. They are like AJ Styles in WWE. We don't want none. You don't right. You don't want none. Right. <laughs> that, 
wrote that theme song and he gets to cooking me boy get the boy bending over trying to fix them burgers like man <laughs> this was great this was just fantastic and goku's looking like huh he's that scared and he's like <laughs> you know because he realized they got these guys in the palm of their hands and you even get the shot outside where these guys are running for their lives like like they have been sent packing and uh we get an adorable shot there of uh goku in the east kaioshin um sleeping and these guys are claiming that hey they won't see the last of us and we'll find out what happened the, later on so it's the morning here and they wake up glorio comes to pick up east kyle shen and son goku and you know right as they get to where they parked their ship glorio's like i can't believe it it's gone and the east kyle shen's like I can't believe it. It's gone too. And we get a zoom in and um, there was no subtitles on um, the Crunchyroll. So I don't know what it exactly says there right there. Or even if that is uh, probably, yeah, I don't even think yeah, that's not even probably Japanese. It's probably just some sort of demon language or whatever. So I'm not sure. So anybody in the comment section or who, what, if you watch this on demand, uh, please let me know what that says. Cause I, I have no idea, but I'm assuming it must've been those bandits that stole their um, spaceship and they wrote, you know, Hey, we got you back for it and the episode ends with goku being like what like he just mazuko nazawa did it a tremendous ah! <laughs> you know my terrible mazuko nazawa uh impression but man uh the way she sold the reaction was absolutely great uh and then we get the ending shot there and um it goes into what the next episode's gonna be. And obviously it looks like uh, we might get our first look at the Tamagamis and uh, we get shots of Son Goku basically fighting, looks like some other henchmen. And he looks more serious here than he was those jabroni, than those jabronis that he beat up in the, um, that he had beat up in the uh, in the bar and, and stuff. Um, I'm gonna say, man, I thought this episode three was fantastic. I love the backgrounds. I love the new world that we're seeing with the demon realm uh i love the action the action was fantastic just a reminder why i just love seeing people in dragon ball underestimate son goku and get dealt with so that was really fantastic all right we're gonna go to the chat here and see what uh what they had what you all had to say here the few people are watching this see what you had to say here um and and stuff like here let me get a sip of water All right. Um, looks like Matthew made one more comment and he said, I love this whole scene. Goku taking out a bunch of demon realm guys while wolfing down burgers. I'm right there with you. You saw how much I was just going crazy over this. This, this scene was fantastic. Like it, it, it was, it was a great action scene. Like obviously we're going to probably get some more awesome, really giant battles and everything. Um, uh, we're going to get some more awesome, dramatic, uh, giant battles, but th I thought this was a good introduction, especially since this is where it's going to, oh my gosh, I cannot believe botch, 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 uh, on my chat <laughs> episode two. There we are. Episode three. Let me go back to my other one. Make sure I was, I was good there too. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was. Okay. So for the chat. Yeah, there we go. I had to take episode two out, uh, in the title. So episode three, this is, uh, but yeah, um, that was, that was fantastic. That was a a a really good introduction to the fight scenes the choreography was phenomenal uh i really love it it was entertaining and uh it just once again akira triyama is a master of action and comedy and uh that that's what it what it is you know uh god rest his soul akira triyama uh he he left us uh some amazing works here uh and even now dragon ball daima so i thought this was fantastic i'm really loving the direction of dragon ball daima three episodes in these are going to be the three episodes that are actually coming to america in english uh the english dub that is in theater so i'm looking forward to see the english cast uh, especially with stephanie nadali coming back can't wait to see what she's gonna have to um how she performs and everything in this so it's gonna be a fun time definitely and that being said i hope you enjoyed this stream you can watch more dragon ball content right there on the screen and you can follow me on my social media links which are in the description and pinned comment below until episode four take care